Hey YouTube, I'm just going to bring you this quick little clip here that I thought you'd enjoy. Uh, I'm not going to make any comments on it because I don't want it to get taken off, so I'm going to claim fair use now. Uh, and like I said, I'm not going to do any comments on it. You can draw your own conclusions, but the only advice I'll give you is, you know, Jesus gave you this advice, actually. And, you know what, look at people's actions, not their words, you know. Uh, and all I'm saying is anybody can say they're for this or against that. But look at their actions. That's the best way. Anyway, to give these people credit for what this is, uh, this is the channel. It's how stuff works. It's pretty interesting, actually, some of them. I think it's kind of like that True TV with Jesse Ventura and the, um, what do you call this show? The Conspiracy Theory Show. I mean, you'll find some truth to it, and then again, you'll probably find some mis disinfo. Because, like I said, the Illuminati don't let anything publish that they don't want to. So check this out. It's pretty cool. I'm just going to take this little clip. From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now to learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. It's no secret that music has a profound impact on society and culture. From instruments of San Bushman in Botswana to the sample-laden beats of dubstep, music permeates the globe. And, while not everyone enjoys the same types of music, scientists have found that music does have measurable effects on the human mind. For example, in 2009, psychologists from Stanford University found that the act of singing together makes individuals feel emotionally closer. Listening to music can also significantly alter a person's mood. While the psychology behind music is fascinating, some people believe that we have only begun to understand the forces at work in your favorite childhood songs and today's top 40 hits. According to conspiracy theorists, your favorite musicians might just be part of the New World Order. Here's where it gets crazy. There is a thriving group of conspiracy theorists who believe that some of the world's most popular musicians, from Lady Gaga to Toby Keith and Jay-Z, are involved with the Illuminati. Additionally, according to conspiracy websites such as The Vigilant Citizen, these artists are displaying their dark allegiances through the use of arcane symbols in their videos and lyrics. The symbols used should be familiar to most conspiracy theorists, the famous Eye and Pyramid, for example, or images alluding to devil worship. This isn't the first time that members of the public have accused musicians of diabolical acts. During the 1980s, concerned parents across the United States became convinced that some musicians were subliminally converting their children into Zenithius worshippers. This was allegedly accomplished through backwards masking. United States became convinced that some musicians were subliminally converting their children into Zenithius worshippers. This was allegedly accomplished I wonder why they edited that out. or hiding audio in a track that can be discerned when played in reverse. Many of these artists made what we today would call classic rock, such as Queen or Led Zeppelin. These groups denied that they had any satanic involvement, much less a need to convert the idle rock-loving youth of America. The Illuminati theory has several similarities. Just as some evangelists were convinced that Satan was controlling the best and brightest of the music industry, modern theorists are convinced that the Illuminati are pursuing their goals through the media. Skeptics are widely and aggressively dismissive of this notion. Even if the Illuminati exists, why would such a secretive organization pepper Do pop through the media? Skeptics are widely and aggressively dismissive of this notion. Even if the Illuminati exists, why would such a secretive organization pepper Weird pop culture with the... overt references to their cause. And what do today's artists have to say about these accusations? Jay-Z certainly hasn't pulled any punches, and when viewers accused him of occult activities in one of his music videos, the rap superstar addressed these concerns directly. In a 2010 interview with Hot 97 host Angie Martinez, Jay-Z denied any involvement with the Illuminati or Satan worshipping. He went on to make a song called Free Mason, wherein he denied the rumors, and essentially, that's the ongoing part of this debate. Is there substance to these claims of devil worship and arcane magic hidden in your favorite club single? Or are these just rumors gone wild, another example of America's cyclical moral panic? 
to skeptics, there simply isn't enough evidence to back up these outlandish claims. To theorists, the symbols depicted in popular music seem to have too much in common to be a coincidence. The next time you watch a music video or listen to your favorite song, pay close attention. Are those harmless lyrics and fashion fads, or are they the indication of something else? Something they don't want you to know. Good advice to close out.